Hey guys, thanks for watching. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Nerf Stockade. Here it is. Um, so, let's first take a look at the box, which it is already out of the box, but here it is. Uh, here it is. And, um, this is the front. Pretty basic. I mean, that's really cool about that part, but this part, you've got some pretty cool stuff. I mean, you have the cool looking stuffy right there. And, um, yeah, it just tells you about, you got your tactical rail, uh, portable stock, the elite features, drives up to 75 feet, which it really doesn't. I mean, I've tried it, and I've got to go up to, like, 40. Um, Removable socks or the Pandora, da, 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 da. and then it has you use Rampage and Retaliator at the bottom. Um, stockade. Blast your way out of any situation with the Pandora power of the Stockade Blaster. The Illuminate Ultimate Motorized Spirit Barricade is your commando when you've got the got the, this blaster by your side. Take total control of any mission with the elite performance of this awesome blaster. That is for sure. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the blaster. Pretty cool. Um, when you first get it, you are going to need to enter three uh, AA batteries right here that this will just come off with a screwdriver. Uh, I'll show you guys that. Uh, you just enter it right here. So enter it right there, and then. Yeah. And then it should be pretty quick. I don't really want to take it all the way off. But, um, yeah, so, if you take a look at the blaster, then you'll be ready to fire. And I'm just going to take this off for a second. Right below there on the, uh, the side, you will just pull that back. And it starts to rev up. And it will come with. Ten, ten elite darts, and then once you rev it up, you are just ready to fire ten darts. Now I didn't have any ammo, so it didn't fire, but yes, that's what ten darts would be like. So let's forget about the stock for a second and take a look at the actual blaster. Now it is a revolving pin shot, so I'm go every time. And, um, one thing is the jam door is right up here, and it's really nice because it, you can, it's a really big jam door, and, um, when you rev it on, when you open up the jam door, it acts as like a safety, so then it will turn right off, but once you close it again, it's ready to shoot. So the blaster does have a, one tactical rail up here, a stock attachment, but it does not have a barrel break thing. Um, so yeah, it looks pretty cool when I take a look at it. Uh, one, one thing I don't like is this side looks really cool, but then this side, the stockade doesn't point out as much. You can see the difference. It's white on this side, gray on that side. So, um, has one sling adapter, I think one. I don't see another one. Yeah, one swing adapter. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the stock itself. This is one of my favorite Nerf stocks ever. It's super comfortable. It's not too big, not too small. And the best part about it, 10 darts right in here. Um, the only thing I dislike about this stock, I could go on and on about it, but they have like this flipped look right here. It looks like it's like the, they like flipped it, like the inside of it. It, it's just, it doesn't look really cool, but the rest of it does, really cool, and, uh, it's got these two, so it won't come out unless I want it to, and it's got the Nerf Insert Elite sign right there. So let's look at the whole gun together. Here it is right there, and, um, it's pretty awesome, I mean, I talked about how they really look, and then 
gun holds 10 rounds in here, which it will come with 10 rounds, and then the stock holds 10 rounds, so you can hold 20 bullets on this gun, and um, it's got two built-in sights, which is really cool. Usually guns only come with um, one. You can see one right here and one right here. Um, so, when you turn it on, uh, you can go as fast as you want, but the bad thing about it is, look how big that trigger pull is. It's probably about an inch, an inch and a half. So you really can't go quite as fast as I would like it to. But, um, the one thing about it, uh, a con, is that when you have bullets in there, you'll, you keep that going really fast. And I have to tr pull the trigger about 12 times, or 13 times for it to release 10 bullets. So if I'm going that would probably be like 10 bullets. Because I don't know if that's just my gun, but um, it kind of will, you don't pull it back completely all the way and give the gun a second to move. It will just pull it right back. It will go like that. It will pull up and pull back. Pull up, pull back. And that's why you got to let it come all the, go all the way back and all the way forward. I'll show you. You have to let it do that, or else it will not really jam, but it will take. You'll have to pull the trigger longer. Um. So, what I really like about this gun is it's not quiet, but if you can hear it, that's not as loud compared to a lot of the other automatic guns that you have to, it's, I mean, you, people will know you are in battle, but still, it's not, like, super loud compared to some of the guns. So let's get into the pros and cons of this gun, uh, because I'm making this video pretty long. Uh, you can, for pros, a high rate of fire, however high you want, um, the stock, best thing about this gun, and uh, how it's not too loud. So let's get into cons. Um, the accuracy decreases not, oh, well, it does over time, but um, when you go, but the first, first four bullets will be all right. Uh, they'll go pretty far, pretty accurate, but um, once you get to about five through ten, they're going to start, like, falling really short. Um, and the other last con about this gun is the loading speed. It's a 10-round revolver. Um, um, sure. Hold on. you got to enter one by one, and so when you're in battle, it's going to be really bad. And I do recommend this gun as a primary. Um, I, though, if you use this as a primary, use the stock definitely or you can change out for another stock because this stock works well with a lot of other guns. If you do use this as a primary um, make sure you have really good backups like say the um, strong and maybe the crossbow guns like those really good backups and then if you use it as secondary I recommend using the stock for something other gun and then maybe you could fit this like a in a pouch or something, and uh, cause this would be an excellent secondary, cause really it is really big and bulky, but you could use it as secondary. Pull it out, people won't be expecting that. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Um, I do recommend this gun, and the um, best um, effective range is probably about 30 feet. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I will hopefully be posting more videos. And, um, oh, I almost forgot. Um, once I get to, uh, 3,000 subscribers, if I ever do, every 3,000 subscribers, I will be, be doing a Nerf giveaway. So, a lucky winner, one of my subscribers, that, um, uh, will be winning a Nerf gun. So, it's going to be brand new, and I'll deliver it to your house. Well, I'll probably mail it. But, uh, yeah, so every 3,000 subscribers will do one, so... 3,000, I'll do one, 6,000, 9,000, 12,000, so on. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and please watch the next video. Leave a like, subscribe, and uh, comment below. Thank you.